Secure memory on them. The purpose will test the secure memory mechanism, but without using the system bootloader services. That means we activate or we lock the secure memory just by modifying the flash core register from the unsecure part of our application. So to do this, we put a toggle LED function in the secure memory area and we call it regularly from the unsecure memory. And when I push on the button, I will look the lock the secure memory. So what will happen? When I will try to call this, then I will see that I can't manage to do my LED toggling again. So I will say the toggle function is in the secure memory. We are outside, we are calling, and suddenly we cut, or we lock the secure memory, we can't access it anymore. So to do that, three main steps. The first one is to create the code and put the LED blinking in the secure memory. So just location of a specific function, but it take a while. Then we will configure the sec side on the option byte. Then we will activate the secure memory. And then we will check the status after pushing the button. Let's switch to the STM32 Q video to start and create our code. So for this hands on, I will use the Nucleo g 71 rb Let's generate the code for this. On a new project, STM32. My target selector, I will take the board. For the nucleo, test segmem. We initialize with default. So, in my version, unfortunately, the LED and the push button have not been defined. So, I will do it. In fact, the button is an PC-13, so which have been used for another purpose, but here what I will do at the GPO input. So you can find this information in the documentation of the Nucleo. So the PC-12 PC is uh, used for the button, the blue button, and we will use also the LED, which is in the PR5. So I don't remember when is it, fire, so it's here, and let's put it as a GPIO output. Fine, input, output, it's good. So I generate the code. And now I'm ready to implement my function. So the main will be what will be executed at boot time, so it's a kind of my secure, my secure code. So this secure code, I want to call something out of the secure memory. So let's call it um, an secure code function, an secure code. It was just a bad function, okay? Let's declare this function and take your code and with no parameter. And once we have booted on this one, we will be, I will say, in a while one loop. So what will we do here? We will call a function that toggling the lead. And this one, we will locate it in the secure area. So let's call it secure toggle LED. Okay. So I will code all through this function. Let's forget to mix the case. And in this one, I will just do a GPIO toggling. Toggle function, run the GPIO PA5, if you will remember. So 
So after I will do the modification to locate it, each function in which part I would like to be. So the basic principle we are booting here, we're jumping in the unsecure code and from the unsecure code, we code secure to get led. Now I want when I push on the button to lock the secure memory, okay? So here I will test if the button has been pushed by somebody or not. No, first I will add just a short delay. So let's do a basic loop just to and 32. Equal zero. Sorry. And doing nothing. This is just for toggling our lead regularly. Okay. So now I will test the button if it's push or not. So I shall GPIO read this time. So read pin. And if you were remembers, let's see, 13. Okay, so if I read this pin and if the level is equal to zero, that means we push the blue button. And this time I want to lock my secure memory. So for that I need to write in the flash control registers. And to be able to do this, uh, first I must unlock this flash. So I've got a shell for this for that also. So flash. And you've got many one, but I would like the unlock function. No argument, quite easy. I also have the services to lock my secure mem. Enable sick mem protection and the bank is the bank one first. Then I will lock the flash again. Okay, so this is a basic code without any relocation of function and such kind of thing. First, let's check if it's bugged. So no error compilation, perfect. So now what I will do, I want to configure this insecure code to be located, I would say at the end of my flash. To do that, I will have to create a new section in my scatter files, and then I will put this function at this location. So I will switch to the empty file, okay? And here we've got our flash. What I propose is to take the last eight kilo for my secure parts. So let's call this flash secure okay so it was a read, read execute the origin will be equal to compute okay one e and video okay and the lens is eight key. Okay, so I declare a new portion of memory where I will locate my unsecure functions. I will just declare it a new section. So it will be dot my section, for example. Um, so right here, I will close it after. Let's respect alignment first. Okay, then I will say um, each wall. So dot, let's call it my section. Okay, then I will just realign the rest after. Oh, help me with this. 
OK. So I think that's it. I've got my section and I put everything here at this location. So now, so I save got my only modification. Oh, sorry, I forget to put it in this flash and secure. Okay, so now I've got my new section and the name is every element which will be in my section. So I keep this symbol because I will need it to declare to put my function after in my main. Okay, so here it's not a simple syntax, frankly speaking, but you can find documentation on the web about it. So you have to play with the attribute. So attribute, then scroll the score, then the attribute of, oh, sorry for this. Okay, then I will say underscore underscore section, underscore underscore, and see which section it will be in the my section, dot my section, so exactly the one we have put in the file before, entry. Okay, doing this, we are putting this function on all the elements of this function the code and the data inside this section which have been defined here. Okay? I hope I haven't made any error in typing. I double check. Let's try to build. So let's compile. Now let's download it to our target. Everything by default should be okay. Download is success. I will put a breakpoint here just to check where we are. Or oh, first, what I can do is just starting the code. Now let's check if my code is blinking. Yes. So. First, it's functional. Now I would like if my relocation of this function is still okay, if I put a breakpoint here, I can check the PC. We are in the good range from the integer code. And if I put a breakpoint here, maybe here, download breakpoint, sorry about this. What is the problem here? Maybe optimization. Oh, okay, if you spend operation time out, let's do it again, or reload, 10 minutes and reload. Okay, I put the hard boy point point by error, so, Mm -hmm. If I put my breakpoint here, neither. Remove all the breakpoints, sorry about this. Now this time I hope it will work. Uh, I want to breakpoint here. This time it's okay if I step in, okay. And I want to see the register. And now we can see, we come back in the secure or what would be our secure area. So for the moment, everything is working. So if I remove this breakpoint and if I put a breakpoint here, okay. So I launch my code again. Let's see what happened. I will push my blue button. If I push the blue button, I should enter in this function. Okay, so I'm being stopped, good. And what happened if I continue? I would say nothing will change. It's still working. So it's still blinking. Yes, 
because we have not activated the option by two, we are using the flash core register, but the sex size is equal to zero. That means there is no secure memory. So now we'll configure this option byte. So let's stop this debugging link. And now we'll connect with a cube programmer. So I connect, I can see the flash, okay. So from the basic, what is the secure one? And let's go to the option byte and we've got the flash security. So here we've got the sex size we have to put here. Okay, so let me check which value I need to put here. And see, number of page. This is in line with our expectation. Okay, so if I apply it, okay, it's well programmed, and I will disconnect my debugging link. Now, if I check my board. So I reset it, it was blinking. Now if I push the blue button, it has stopped. That means we've got the while that is still working, but now when you try to access the secure memory, it gets stuck. And we can check or double check it, thanks to programmer, if I connect, but like a host plug, I mean not under reset, because if I connect under reset, I will be exactly uh, at the beginning, so the secure memory will be open. So let's do a hot plug, it's really important here. I connect, and in fact, I see an error. Why? I can't read this portion of the flash. Now, if I'm go in my secure memory, I will say, which is in 1E. I was able to see this code, and this code is exactly I would say uh, my main loop would try to call uh, this, okay? So we really see that it's completely disappear just by writing in one flash register. I hope this helps you to understand how this secure memory works. So here, basically, we just write in the flash control register, but it's not fully secure. It's better to use, I would say, the bootloader services that can do it for you from an atomic way and ensure that the switching from the secure part to the unsecure part is done safely.